pregnancy and delivery are considered as a major milestone in the life of every woman. Usually, there are two delivery methods, the normal vaginal delivery and cesarean section. In this video, we will give you an insight into the risks and complications of cesarean section delivery. Cesarean section is considered relatively safe, but it does pose a higher risk of some complications than a vaginal delivery. If you have a cesarean section, expect a longer recovery time than you would have after a vaginal delivery. Let's have a look at few common risks and complications after undergoing through cesarean section. Number 1. C-section is a major surgery. It may seem like cesarean births are just routine alternatives to traditional vaginal births, but that's not the case. In fact, it is medically counted as a major abdominal surgery, which is why you are given general or local anesthesia to help numb the pain, as incisions are made to your abdomen. The incision is usually 10 to 20 centimeters long, and is horizontal just below your bikini line. Number 2. C-section may cause breathing issue on the baby. During C-section, because of the speed with which the baby is born, without being squeezed through the narrow birth canal, breathing issues may occur right after birth. Babies born from a C-section, usually require a little more help with their breathing just after delivery, than babies born through the traditional vaginal route. Number 3. Recovery time is longer for C-section. Since the C-section birth being a major surgery, you will need to give your body more time to heal and recover. Only then, you can get back to your routine activities. You will also need to take care not to infect the wound. After the birth, usually for first 3 to 4 days, you may need to stay in the hospital under observation, and with quick access to emergency care. Number 4. C-sections may cause complications in future pregnancies. If you already have undergone a C-section previously, it could increase the risk of having certain complications in future pregnancies. These include complications like the uterine rupture, placenta previa, where your placenta covers your cervix, and abnormal placental attachment. Number 5. Maternal mortality is higher for C-sections. According to data from the World Health Organization, maternal mortality and morbidity from a C-section is five times higher than that of vaginal birth. This is because of the higher risk due to complications like sepsis and hemorrhage. Now that you know the common risks and complications of cesarean section delivery, better stick to the traditional vaginal birth method.